Alrighty boys, we are back in today's exclusive episode. Not very exclusive, but it's going to be double the time I would normally make a video. Just because I've been feeling kind of sick and I have been uploading lately. So I figured, you know what, I might as well just get right back into the action. Give you guys that extra long content so you guys can at least have an enjoyable, you know, week watching some of these. Now, ever since the last video, uh, we have been working on the mother tree. I think it looks phenomenal so far. I'm definitely going to edit the the wood a little bit, but right now I extended the tree's uh, leaves quite a bit ever since last time. So we're going to be doing that. And another thing we're going to be doing today is most likely... oh. You guys can hear that. It's the wind outside. It is extremely windy today. So I apologize for that. But nothing we can really do about that other than, you know, just carry on. Make sure that everything we're doing is perfect, pretty much. Because I don't want any issues in today's recording. So yeah, I think... Something we should do, remove some of these parts of the tree, make it look more natural. I think that will be in our best interest. Let's get a bit closer here. And yeah, right about here, here. And if we can just get that up higher. It's right there, I think. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And then we'll just repeat the same process over on this side. Just like this, this, this. This here, this here. And just keep going. Yo, that park looks pretty cool. You might actually check that out afterwards. And yeah, just continue on the process a bit. So going here, going up, all the way up. Not bad. Okay. Here, 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 and right here. Good. I like that. That looks pretty good. And then a little bit more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Alright, so I definitely want to take a look at this guy's park. So let's just head right over there. Uh, by the way, I think a good idea for what our next project should be after the mother tree is likely get a ride in finally because we don't even have any food or drink stalls in here and these people are just coming in going to the oh wait technically we do this is actually if you guys didn't know an ice cream shop but we made it look like an information stand so yeah this looks pretty good though unfair amusement oh, that's pretty cool I really like that. That looks good. <laughs> That's quite crazy. Oh. Yeah, I really like the style of this. This is pretty unique. Southern Coaster Rider, Builder, and Manager. Hmm. Very nice vibes I'm picking up here. I like the work they have on these uh, walls. Very nice. Little entryways here. It's looking pretty good to me. This guy really knows what he's doing. Treasure chest. A soft drinks and an ice cream stall right here. Fun first train ride. Check this out, guys. 
guess today is sort of a park spotlight. <laughs> I haven't done one of these on the channel yet, so I figured, you know, this might be a cool old break. Not too bad, I, li I really like it. I've only seen a park like this once, but I don't think it was as nice as this one is. Then we got a little food court right here. This is pretty cool, too. Soft drinks, hamburger, fries, pizza, ice cream. Very nice, very nice. Little picnic area out here. Very, very nice and quaint. I like that a lot, too. What's this? The, they even have... Wow. So there's Imagination Land, Fun Fair Exit, and the Boardwalk. So this guy basically has different biomes. This is like the weather, well, not weather, western part of the park. This is very nice as well. I like the sand editing. I like this. I like that there's little operation stands in here too. That's really cool. That's such a little unique idea. If anybody wants to take that, that's pretty cool. I really like that can't go inside unfortunately and then you got this nice roller coaster that goes throughout the park too looks like he did his own custom supports along here as well and there you go look at that nice smooth railing it's very very smooth I'm a huge fan of that that's pretty nice I see that when they made cactuses they used the grass texture <laughs> You know what, well, it's not a bad texture to put with it, I guess. And over here, I have a little bit of a sort of futuristic kind of ride. This ain't bad either. Can't go through the doors, unfortunately. Wait. No, you can't. Okay. Didn't think you could. That's pretty cool, nonetheless. Alright. Let's go on up here. That's pretty cool. I like this. So this is the coaster they have. What does it say over here? Uh, Roblox and players, turn your volume down for online on-ride audio. You have been warned. Place all loose and valuable items into storage bins. Funfair is not responsible for lost, stolen, or damaged articles. You're all clear and out of here. Enjoy your ride. <laughs> Pretty cool, not gonna lie. I also really like that. Whose idea was it to put an actual shop to make it look like a ride operator? That was so clever. Really like that. I really like these stairs too. Very nice. Oh, and if you go down here, holy, you got a little underground section as well. Earthquake ride. That's pretty cool. Look at this queue line too. Really nice. Really nice. Pretty good. Here's Fossil Scramble. So I'm I'm trying to make art like this in my park, but it can be pretty hard to do, I heard. It's a lot of the editing, but this guy fairly nice. Great water surprise. Groundwater Surprise, and this actually, spoiler alert to you guys, I was actually going to make this a an exclusive video for everyone who wants to see how to make a ride as cool as an Nautic Jet, and uh, definitely custom build it, that way it doesn't look too bland or anything. Uh, here we go again, wow, this guy is so clever, I love it. I really do. It's so nice. So, yeah, it's turning out to be one hell of a park, honestly. Avalanche run here. We're going to take the exit anyways because, you know, we're cool like that. And please, please place all loose and valuable items into the storage bin. Notice, keep them locked. That's very nice. I didn't even know this part was here. It's a closet, so you can actually have like little closets on rides. This is interesting too. And look at this. The station is fairly well made, which I have to give props to. This guy is just 
outgoing everything he's doing. And then no to Roblox and players turn down volume as audio ahead is louder. Well, that's interesting, but nothing we really have to worry about. This is really cool. Custom toilets. That's very nice. We already have a toilet, which is our ATM, which is pretty funny to think about. And then we have a little bit of a snack shack here too. That's nice. Oh, a quick uh, little tip. If this guy is watching this video, I don't think he is. But if you ever watch a video, uh, make sure that the supports uh, in the back, um, there's like one that has slashes to it. I think that would add a better feel to these shops. I think you can definitely add a better surrounding for that. But other than that, that is still a very smart idea. And then here we have even more custom supports. Very nice. I definitely give props to this guy for his park. It is absolutely phenomenal. But yeah, definitely great job with everything. Like, I would have, in a million years, never been able to think of a park this nice. It's fairly realistic. There's a lot of realism in this, guys. You can definitely learn from it. Uh, there's um something that's tagged. To them. I don't know what that is. Dried potatoes, Arctic snow, pizza planet, and tropical juices. I really like that. That's pretty cool. Spiraling journey. That's pretty cool. I like how he just turns like most of these rides into like actual like really cool custom made ones. There's a twister here. It's called Tsunami. And then there's Sail Ahoy. Pretty cool. I think the yeah the park entrance is down that way but yeah, I definitely gotta leave this park. Great job to whoever did this. Again, I'll try to check out the user here. Uh, I think it was on the, yeah, near the fountain. Or the fountain itself, I guess you could say. Uh, let's see. Southern Coaster Rider, uh, Builder and Manager. So who made this park? I give you props. I'm gonna like this park actually. It is. Whoa! Wait! 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 Ooh, ooh, wait! 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 One more thing. One more thing. Welcome to the land of the wood. Oh my gosh! This is so sick. Yeah, this is. De These are really nice. I really like this food court back here too. Wow. You know, I was wondering how you could add these leaves in. I never actually got to see that, but I, I definitely need to search up leaves for sure. So, oh my goodness, 781 likes. That is quite a bit. Park owner is Southern Coaster Rider. Southern Coaster Rider. I don't know. Oh, wow. So he's right here. This is him. Southern Coaster Rider. It doesn't say it in this list for some... Oh, wait, he's at the top. Wow! 40 million. Very nice, dude. That is quite a bit of money. Fortunately for us, I don't think we're going to be needing as much money as he has, but, uh, yeah, he has 149 park guests in there, which is expected. But, yeah, definitely props to this dude. Looks like everyone's enjoying... Uh, this area too. I'm not too sure if ice cream counts as a food or a drink still. Ice cream's always been that one um, stall that I've never really understood if it was a food or a drink because it has dairy in it, which makes me think that it counts as both. But anyways, yeah, major props to that guy again. Awesome park. I'm so happy he was able to pull something like that off. That was genius uh all right let's move this down a bit about two more and two more here and two more here and yeah i think hmm let's see what we got 
going with us. Uh, the tree looks pretty great. The leaves, I like that a lot. I added some uh, more lengthy leaves going down from it to make it look better. There's going to be likely a, a coaster here or something that might go through this tree, actually. I think that would be an awesome idea. You guys got to leave your uh, thoughts down below, though. Let me know what you want to see in these episodes, because I think I would most likely make the park feel a lot nicer. Yeah. Tree's looking pretty decent, I'd say. Yeah, fairly nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, add right here, 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 here. And go around. Can't always see where my player is, which is a bit of an issue, but not too big of an issue. Okay, cool. Keep going around. Looks good. Looks pretty good. Let's uh, get rid of some of this. Looks kind of pixely in my opinion. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Add this here. That looks good. And just Get this going. Looks pretty good there. Really like how that looks. That is quite a figure. Now, I would increase it, but I do not have the game pass that increases height limit by 10. So I guess this is the best I'm going to be able to do for now. But I, like I said in the um, previous episodes, I think I will buy it sooner or later. Just because I want that little extra height to really work out. Also, another thing we gotta do. It's unfortunate, but we're gonna get rid of the jukebox once again and try to put it inside of the tree instead because I don't think I'm gonna be needing this down here for too long anyways. So yeah, let's just get the sand out. Put it right there. Save us some money. And we'll put... Let's see. Where, do, where should we put it? I think put it in the stems will be good. Like right around here-ish. Just get rid of the wood for now. Right here. And search up jukebox. All right. No, nope. always happens. Don't know why. There we go. Now, we basically just put our music back in there when we feel like it. But it's no better spot now. And I'm also planning on getting some more Robux to put other songs in here too. I think that would look pretty decent. But for now, it's not too bad. I, I really like how this looks, guys. You guys, let me know your ideas down in uh, the comment section, obviously, and uh, we'll get start thinking about adding some other rides into this park as well. But for now, the moment I've been wanting to do the longest time is adding the water. Wait a minute, not add water. Add. Oh, I see what I did there. I know exactly why it won't work. Okay. Yep, this is the whole problem I had again with uh, the swan ride. And it's because of this. So let's just edit the terrain height. And yeah, just raise it up 20. And now, when you, the moment we've been waiting for. The item transport train is in the way, and it cannot be merged. But that's what I wanted. This height was to be just like this. I think it works fairly well. Also, the tree isn't in the way anymore, which is a good thing. 
And yeah, we're gonna add a picnic area soon. Uh, the whole reason why these pathways are as is is mostly because of, like I said, the uh... hmm. Actually, I don't know. I guess the reason I did was because I wanted to add a couple of shops on each island. But yeah, that's the most logical excuse I can think of. But for now, guys, unfortunately, it has been reached that time of the episode. Uh, this episode should be uploaded a bit late than usual. But like I said, it will appear sometime during the evening, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I'll start working on tomorrow's episode because I feel like I need another like short break since this week has been super long for me. I mean, CIT has been quite crazy for me lately. Nothing terrible or stressing, guys. Just, you know, very busy and I'm trying to stay consistent. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy these types of videos, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these in the future. Hope everyone has a great rest of your week, and I will see you all next week. Well, in tomorrow's video. So, yeah, take care.